Today Show. Relay. A relay is basically a switch. An electromagnetic switch. These are some common schematic symbols of single pole single throw relay. And single pole double throw relay. The schematic represent the coil of the relay, and at least a pair of switching contacts. For a single throw relay, the switching contact can be normally closed, or normally open, depend on the configuration of that particular relay. For a double throw relay, there are three switching contacts, a common, a normally closed, and a normally open. Let's look at the inside of a relay. A small current flowing through a coil in the relay create a strong magnetic field that pulls one switch contact against or away from another. There are two basic types of relay. Latching and non-latching. Non-latching relays are the most common. They resemble a momentary switch, in that its contacts spring back to their default position when power to the relay is interrupted. Latching relays on the other hand, have no default position. They almost always have double throw contacts which remain in either position without drawing any power. Only short pulse of power required to change the relay's contact status. These two type of relay can look really similar. Make sure you get the correct type for your application. Now I'll show you how to connect up this 5 volts 5 pins SPDT relay. From the data sheet, this is how the pins of this relay are laid out. Let's say I want to replace the switch, in this simple LED circuit with the relay. What I do is connecting the common pin to the 9 volts, and connecting the normally open pin to the resistor to the anode of the LED, then I connected a 5 volts power to the coil. And for the sake of demonstration, I add a little switch, so I can manually control the power to the coil. Then whenever I hit the switch, applying a 5 volts power to the coil of the relay, the LED light up. Since this is a double throw relay, I could connect another LED to the normally closed pin, and have myself an alternating LED circuit controlled by the relay. Since the switching of relay is mechanical, they are far too slow compared to transistor, although, relay retains some advantages. They provide complete electrical isolation between circuits. Some relays can handle double throw or multiple pole switching. And most of all, relays can handle far greater voltage or current than transistors do. From the example I've just shown you, you can see how a lower voltage circuit can control a higher voltage circuit. Normally, you would apply a small signal from microcontroller, to the base of a transistor, which then control the relay. Note that a rectifier diode wired in parallel with the relay coil for protecting the coil from possible voltage spikes. And since the switching contacts of the relay can be connected to a lot higher voltage, or higher current, you can use relay to switch on the light in your house, turn on the washing machine, turn on the air conditioner, or any other things that you can think of. But please remember, higher voltage can kill you, so be extra careful. That's all for today. If you like what you see here, please subscribe, or leave a comment. See you next time.